Many growers out there have been thinking about how they can get more efficient with nitrogen and improve their nutrient efficiency. Once we understand how exactly nitrogen enters the soil and gets used by plants, the strategies used to reduce synthetic nitrogen start to make a lot more sense. So let's dive in. In a natural ecosystem, nitrogen is present in the air as a gas and also in small air pockets in the soil. Even though there is a lot of nitrogen present, it cannot be used by the plants in the gaseous form. In the soil, there are naturally occurring beneficial microbes that act as middlemen between the soil and the plant to provide nutrients. In the case of nitrogen, microbes convert nitrogen gas into other forms like ammonia or nitrate that are easily taken up by plants. But like any good middleman, the microbes aren't working for free. So what's in it for the microbes? In return for nitrogen, the plants release carbohydrates from their roots to provide the microbes with their energy source. This mutual relationship benefits both the plants and microbes. So we have three main players, gas, microbes, and plants. Nitrogen enters the soil as a gas, and microbes convert it into a plant-available form such as nitrate. Now let's take a look at how nitrogen utilization happens in a farm system. It's similar, but with the addition of man-made nitrogen inputs, synthetic fertilizer. And that fertilizer changes the equation significantly. Nitrogen fertilizer often comes in readily available forms such as ammonia and nitrate, which plants can absorb directly. With so much synthetic nitrogen available in the soil, the plants have a heyday with the roots absorbing as much as they can from the soil nearby. These fertilizers increase yield, but up to a point. Eventually, the plants stop responding and much of the fertilizer ends up lost to the environment, resulting in the degradation of the soil, water, and air quality. This wasted nitrogen is bad news for the environment and your wallet. But what does this mean for the microbes? Well, the plants have no need for the middleman anymore, so they slow their release of carbohydrates to the microbes. As a result, the microbes reduce their nitrogen conversion and supply much less nutrients to the plants. Taking a look at these two systems, the challenge for a grower is finding the right balance between synthetic nitrogen inputs and maintaining the plant-microbe interaction. Keeping these microbes up and running while still reaping the benefit of synthetic nitrogen may be the best way to get crops the nitrogen they need all season long. This is where source from sound agriculture can have a big impact. Source is a foliar applied chemistry that activates the beneficial microbes in your soil. By making source part of your nutrient plan, you can keep the soil microbes active, leading to more plant available nitrogen in the root zone when the plant needs it most. By promoting the plant-microbe relationship, source increases nutrient efficiency and provides the opportunity to reduce synthetic fertilizer usage, keeping your soil healthy and your wallet full.